Hey everyone, welcome back to Embezzle. In today's video, we are going to dive into the JQ6500 audio module, an amazing device that allows you to play audio files easily. Whether you are a hobbyist or a professional, this tutorial will guide you through the process of using and programming the JQ6500. So grab a coffee, sit back and let's get started. Before we begin, let's take a closer look at JQ6500 audio module. This compact module is capable of storing and playing audio files in various formats such as MP3 and WAV. It comes with a built-in amplifier making it convenient for projects that require sound output. Additionally, the module supports a micro SD card for storing audio files and it can be controlled through a microcontroller or even standalone buttons. To start using the JQ6500 as shown in figure, it has several pins for power, audio output and control. Make sure to refer the module's datasheet for the pin configuration specific to your version. Once you have everything connected, you are ready to move on to programming. We will use Arduino to interface JQ6500 with it and control the audio files. The JQ6500 can be programmed to play specific audio files or perform various actions. To do this, you will need to establish serial communication between your microcontroller and the JQ6500. This typically involves connecting the model's RX and TX pins to your microcontroller serial pins. Additionally, JQ6500 can also be controlled manually. As most of the videos on the YouTube has shown how to use JQ6500 with buttons. I am not going to uh, deep, uh, go deeply in it. Once you have the communication setup, you can start playing audio files. To play a specific file, you will need to send a command with the file name or index number to the JQ6500. You can also control the volume, repeat modes and other parameters using appropriate commands. Make sure to check the module's documentation for a list of available commands and their usage. If you prefer to use standalone buttons to control the JQ6500, you can connect buttons to the module's control pins. Each button can trigger a specific action such as playing a particular audio file or adjusting the volume. By combining different button presses, you can create interactive audio experiences with the JQ6500. Now that you have a good understanding of the JQ6500, let's explore some exciting projects you can create with it. For example, you can build a talking alarm clock that wakes you up with personalized messages or design a musical greeting card that plays a melody when opened. The possibilities are endless, limited only by our imagination. As we wrap up this tutorial, I want to mention that JQ6500 has many advanced features that we haven't covered in this video. It supports functions like equalization, folder navigation and even synchronization with external devices. If you are interested in exploring these features further, I highly recommend checking out the official documentation and online resources available for the JQ6500. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to help you out. Take care.